All right, one of my first uh, woodworking videos. So Ryobi, blah, 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 table saw. This little guy wouldn't uh, lock in place, so I couldn't um, miter the blade or angle the blade to do a miter cut, rather. Um, I eventually got this off by, sorry, by using just a big Allen wrench, pull it off, and then you unscrew it. You're going to come right to this. And then, obviously, this is all on top of here. So the spring comes out next. And then the handle will come off. Oh. That washer's inside of there. Anyways, doesn't really matter about that stuff. The issue was, I'll take this nut off again. The issue was when I had it on there. Look at this washer, man. I fucked it up, right? So it's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like a regular washer. And then there's this rubber uh, piece to keep it snug. And look at that. I have it. I had it so tight, it actually indented and had the same impression as the, um, the saw itself. So it was just locked in there when it turned. So the fix for this, what I'm going to attempt is we're just going to flip that over, right? Same thing with the washer. Flip that bad boy over. Put this piece on here. Yeah, I almost got it to the point where um, I was just going to bevel by... Um, you know, taking the whole thing out and just grabbing the underside of the thing and pulling it over because that seemed to work. And then I got the theory or the thought that uh, maybe a little dangerous because I could be in the middle of a cut and vibration could happen, anything like that. And um, blade moves and then, then it's screwed. The other issue that I'm just seeing right now is the quality of this little plastic piece that sits on there is not the best and that's uh that's not good that's not going to catch in enough spots to turn a nut you know so we got an issue there but hopefully this will be the fix we'll see and uh so again there's already a washer inside of there just going to place the handle back where it goes place the spring back on the thing -a dang dang Place this back inside of here. In theory, <coughs> this should work just fine. I don't understand. There's no threads or uh, got it. Okay, so the threads work off of the screw. Not necessarily in this thing. I think this part of the issue was, is, um, you know, I was newbie, not really understanding what was going on here. But what it is, is you turn, you pull it around, you turn, you pull it around, you turn, you pull it around. And eventually it's supposed to tighten up that, um, that nut. You just got to find the sweet spot, I guess. It's stripped, man. Not going to work. That needs to be replaced. Um... So, for the fix, we take the whole thing out again. Just gonna have to hand tighten it from here on out because this is no bueno. Come on. All right. Remember, there's a washer inside of there. I guess this is the move that I'm gonna have to do from now on. It's just uh, obviously get a wrench it meant for this, but, uh, yeah, this table saw only cost 70 bucks, brand new, so I don't expect a great deal of quality, but shit, man, um, worst case scenario, you can always just bubble like this, but crazy dangerous, and, uh, you gotta flip your saw upside down, or to the side every time. Alright, I got nothing. If you got tips, let me know. <laughs> this sucks. Whatever. New table saw day.